All right, so I can obviously turn off the recording, um, but I did just turn it on to see, make sure that I could. Uh, uh, I don't know if the 40 minutes starts from when you joined Beth or from when I joined or when I clicked host. It's all a mystery. So, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so um, I don't know if Dan is is up yet so i actually have a i actually have a zoom account yeah through our uh common employer a common employer so. <laughs> yeah well i mean be advised if we want to you know head on past the 40 minute mark we really yeah. want to do a, a deep dive <laughs> on I had a, things yeah i had um thought that um you know, we could potentially use WebEx as well, but I didn't know what the limits were and uh, what the- uh, problem with using WebEx, and I don't know if this applies to Zoom, is like you have shared space for recordings and it's shared yeah. across everybody in your org and it's actually uh, really expensive, so we don't have very much. Uh, okay. I think we have 50 gigs for the entire company and that costs thousands of dollars a month. Wow. Yeah, it's, anyway, fuck Cisco. Yeah, this is um, in theory recording to my drive somewhere. Um, I don't know where. I'm sure I can find that. So out. do we have a do we have a topic? We don't. Other than um, I think I think the topic should probably be um, at least partially focused around what do we want to do in the future. <laughs> you know, like this is kind of a test uh, run. In the future, I think having a topic would be good. Yeah. Maybe not necessary, but. Right. No, I, something to, um, you know, to, I mean, part of it is just like who is actually going to show up. So. Um, well, I mean, we can chill and wait for Dan. I was kind of hoping he would show up. Cause, uh, I Emily... want to be mean to him. <laughs> I mean, Emily <laughs> suggested she was going to bring her kazoo. Um, and so, yeah, what's up? You can't promise the kazoo and then no show. I can message her. One second. Yeah. Um, and then um, maybe maybe I just got lights. I thought there were other. I thought some of the um, well, the guy with like the Russian name. I can't remember his name. I thought that he was involved in that discussion, but maybe Man, not. Man, I wouldn't. I don't think Russian is the uh, Estonian. Sto well, yeah, yeah. That's uh, Stern. I it's know to you that might seem like a trivial difference, but I'm guessing to the person from Estonia, it's probably not. Well, I know that like, um, I mean, I, I don't know about Estonia specifically, but like, um, like I know some, there's a lot of like ethnic Russians in like a lot of those. I know, I know. So like this guy who, who he lives in Kazakhstan. He's like, as far as I know, always lived in Kazakhstan, but he always talks about like, you know, being Russian and stuff. And it's like, dude, like you don't live in Russia. <laughs> like, well, yeah, but I mean, if, when you were born, your country was part of the Soviet Union. Like I kind of get it, you know? Yeah, it's just a funny, um, I don't know. I don't even know if this dude, uh, Victor Van River actually, um, that's his stage name. Uh, he won a electronic um, album of the year in the CC Music Awards, but uh, he he's actually one of the he's the he's the regional judge for Russia this year. But he was a regional judge for Asia last year, and um, it's just like I don't know. It's interesting. So, what's the state of CC Music in 2020 when everything's gone to shit, Doug? People still <laughs> yeah. pumping stuff out. Uh, some people have been, there have been a, a fair amount of like quarantine songs, you know, like, uh, I've been, you know, I don't know that people want to be flooded with, uh, every single quarantine release that comes out. I've uh, definitely, uh, found myself going back to like a lot of things that seem vaguely post-apocalyptic, like <laughs> stuff that I've listened to over the years where I'm like, oh man, this feels very fitting right now yeah 
I would say there's been a fair amount of like singles, um, but that's always the case. And I think that's the case these days, regardless of the license. Well, I think, I think albums in general are kind of not going away, but like we're singles oriented now, right? It's a one YouTube clip or it's one MP3 or whatever. Yeah, I, EPs are super popular too, actually, I think. Right, right, but like full length, obviously they still exist, they're still being created and released, yeah. but I'm yeah. just not, like you don't pop a CD in and sit down and listen, really. Yeah, and then you have um, and another interesting thing, and I guess you always could have done this with like, you know, double this, triple discs, whatever. But I see a lot of things that are really long too. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of electronic and post-rock stuff that's like now that they don't have to fit things on a CD. Yeah. Just go big or go home. Yeah, so like um, speaking of uh, people that may or may not be Russian, do we have a chat here? We do. So this is a um, Ukrainian band. Um, and, uh, I mean, like a single one of those tracks, <laughs> well, at least like one of them is like 27. The first one is, well, the first and the last are like 27 and 30 minutes long. So, um, you know, it's an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> right. That's, uh, longer than, uh, longer than the CD. This is Odie, by the way who wants to not be on camera, it seems, wants to bother me, but not be on camera. He, so normally, you know, before quarantine, I would go to work and um, then I would come home because I, I live like eight blocks away and feed them at lunch. And so it's supposed to rain here today. Actually, I think it already did, but it didn't rain on my ride. So I was like, get up and feed them breakfast at six. I was like, well, I'm going to try to beat the rain and, um, you know, get back in before the call. And so I came home and he was like, oh yeah, it's lunchtime. It's like, dude, it's like two or three hours from lunchtime. <laughs> but he has not, he has not given up hope that he's going to be fed. So, um, Oh, so that means he's going to be around you nonstop yeah, until you yeah, he, pay attention. Yeah, he also has this new thing. I mean, it's new because, like, I don't usually sit at this you know, desk very often, you know, not for extended periods. And um, I put a rug under my chair because I'm actually, like, in it and we have hardwood floors. And he is just, like, at my feet on this rug, like, not all the time, but, like, he's generally, he's, like, normally very more associated. It's like, good, though. I mean, he cares, Doug. Yeah, but, I mean, normally he, like, um, he goes and like lays in my wife's lap and stuff. And he's, he's just like generally like more like, you know, centered around her, but he has, maybe it's just cause I'm home more. He's been more in tune with me. So somewhere there's a, a guy who's like way bigger than this one, <laughs> but He'll probably pop pop his head in somewhere. Did Emily respond with the kazoo? I was really Kevin, looking forward to that. Checked my Instagram. I'll message him. I'll have a look in a minute. Oh. I'd say I'd give her a hard time next time I see her, but I don't know when that's going to be. You just got to write it down. Put it on your calendar. <laughs> <laughs> they need to make an app that like carries your grudges for you and <laughs> reminds you of your grudges and who you're mad at. Yeah. For people female. like me that don't stay mad. We women remember everything. If we're mad, we're mad. I don't have it in me. I only save the the grudges for the life or death kind of stuff. I'm gonna go um, grab my phone because it's in range of my Bluetooth headset. But it's like I think whether I lean this way or this lean that way, it like decides to not be in range. And then when my headset is like. S M, it spells Samsung. S A M S U N G. Lost. Um, I can't hear anything else, so I'm just gonna. No, oh, we can hear you. You sound all right. Whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, no, mind. but I'm just saying while it's talking. It's, ah, got it. Oh, do we have a response?
Oh, she's passing this round. Terrible rubbish. Do we have kazoo emoji? We don't. We don't have a kazoo emoji. She could at least do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Getting phone. Adrian. Hmm. Well, now I know who I can trust. Huh? I said now I know who I can trust. <laughs> it's not Emily. Uh, I feel I feel sad that we don't have a kazoo. So I kind of had a feeling that this might be um, a little early for some of the Minnesota people, but um, so that may be one thing to consider a different time. Um, you should do it in a format where people can actually RSVP to you so you know what you're getting into. I mean, I can send out an Outlook request. <laughs> so is there some way that we can have like a group or a universal playlist that we can all add songs to? Because I feel uh, like that would be super useful for all the people in the music channel. I mean, we could definitely make a Spotify list. We can do that. Or we can all just dump stuff in it and listen to it. That seems like... I would have that going all day. I wouldn't. <laughs> Once you listen to weird shit, Doug. Yeah, I mean... It's fair. Um, <laughs> I've never made a Spotify list, so I say that based on other people's. I, think I would think if we got people's Spotify details, we could probably don't even need that. how to make it happen. It's really easy. Well, I'm sure making one for like an individual is, but like, is it easy to like share it among people? Yes. Oh, okay. Very easy. Big easy. I'll take this one as a as a youth. Who knows how to use Spotify? Good. Do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do the thing. I can even do it now. What do you want it to be called? Uh, I don't know. You probably call it the channel name. I don't know how to say that phonetically, but. Okay, I can, I can just do this. Done. Very jazzy. Place. Oh, yeah. Why did I Super easy. Do we actually just do something productive? That doesn't feel right. <laughs> I mean, I think it depends on your definition of productive. Oh, shit. I did a thing that's productive for a Saturday for me. Oh, yeah. man. I'm going to spam this with so much random shit. It's amazing. <laughs> so, all right. I see I'm on the thing, but how do I add to it? So you right click on the song, add to playlist, and then. Yep, then you pick the playlist. Mm -hmm. You need to follow the playlist, otherwise it won't be anything. You just what the playlist? Follow it. Ah, okay. Start radio. S save to your library? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, do I have to save it to my library? Where I think so. Oh, Let's boom. Saved. How do you? So now we're going to all stop talking while we actually add things to the... <laughs> hey, I'm just going to carry on with this beverage. <laughs> I can't... Uh, I can't do two things at once. My music taste is terrible. I'm not okay, so I just added something. Oh, God. So you did? You also changed the picture, one of you. Well, I think it's like dynamic based on whatever... <laughs> But <laughs> you know, potato. I think it's a manatee. It's like a manatee in front of a pagoda. 
It looks like a potato. It could be a potato with like a tongue sticking out. Um, you know. I mean, manatees do kind of look like potatoes. They do. I, I'll give you that. They're very majestic. They're like a majestic potato. <laughs> majestic. That is my whole life right there. Majestic. I'm, t- I'm telling you, when I saw him, it was kind of, I don't want to say spiritual, but. Oh, spiritual majestic feeling. potatoes. I think they're the chillest animal. Sloths are pretty chill. Dude, man, sloths have to hold on to the tree. Manatees don't even do that. They just float. All right. So I'm on this add to playlist page. I guess I can share my screen. Probably. I can probably do that. Many probabilities. All right. Can you guys see this? Yep. Yeah. And then what, what do I do? Uh, so click on the playlist. I mean, I'm trying. Man, your screen looks all jacked up. That's what I should be doing, right? Uh, okay, come off that. Is mouse. Big cross at the top, go for that. Yes. Okay. Yep. that off. No, okay, what? Back to the actual fucking playlist. No, uh, click for a link again. God damn it. Okay, so you see, ready? see see the three buttons. Yeah. Click that. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Um, so go to the song you want. Go to the song. Oh, what so I so do I actually need to like go to the song? Yeah, right click on the song you want. Okay. Uh, it's not right not click, yet. it's yeah, the dot, and then it's add to... Totally, you can right click it, Ben. She, not in a browser. Yeah, can I can, I can actually. Oh, wow, fancy. Okay, so this is what I did, the add to playlist. Is that not what yep. I'm supposed to do? Yep. Yeah, click yeah. that, click that. It doesn't done work. You can't click it's the thing. It's because you're in a browser. Get... Oh. Mm-hmm. Like normal people. Uh, Let's trust this shit. I trust you, Spotify. I don't really, but man, you just anybody. <laughs> Why does that not work for you? How very weird. I have the desktop app, and it seems to work fine. Yeah, it works fine for your desktop. So add to playlist, and you just—I'm trusting that you were clicking on the thing that looks like you should click on. Yes. Can you click on the title down below? Uh, no, it's in your library. Uh, All right, let's try this in Chrome. Just as a test. But I think I'm sharing my... um, Oh, your window? I'm sharing the, yeah, the Firefox window, so you guys can't see it. That's That's cool. That's good. But I, you know, it seems as though, I wonder if I can like try to add the whole, it's just three tracks. Can I add all of them? Mm -hmm. You should be able to. Yeah, I think you can add an entire like album or EP also, if you. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do it from the. um, the I guess that's what I gotta do. Lame. Let me try that something. Nature works around. All right. Yep, straight away. Now I gotta figure out how to get to the app. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a Ben song in there and a me song in there now. What was that? I added something to make sure it was working. Ah. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Classic bit of Dorothy. My hand is very sore today. I, how's it healing? It's, uh, it's painful. My ankle's worse. So I shouldn't be left alone. I'm excited about this playlist thing. 
yeah. You know what the next thing is to do is to everything that gets shared into the room that it automatically gets added to the playlist. It just makes sense. We put so much of that group, you might as well bag it in a playlist. Right. Oh man, I know what I'm doing the rest of my day. <laughs> because surprisingly, unsurprisingly, I don't really have anything better to do. Day drinking. Day drinking is a better thing to do. God damn, it's not even 10. I can't do that yet. <laughs> yeah, you can. I don't have a stamina for that anymore. It's Christmas rules. Christmas <laughs> no, I can't take three weeks of Christmas rules. <laughs> it's Christmas rules. It doesn't count. <laughs> Maybe on the weekend. And it is the weekend. Oh, um, figure it out, Doug. Yeah, well, I mean, in the app, I did. I, I mean, I think. Oh, hey, boom! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it just doesn't work. I don't know if Spotify has a like a. Um... Oh, you went for it. <laughs> oh, what? You knew he was going to go for it. Yeah, I can just see, like, I've just clicked on it. It's like, don't, 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 don't. It was just what happened to be on my uh, opening page. <laughs> oh, wow. We've got, we've got quite a few things in here now. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be quite a few more. Oh, yeah, I guess I added the whole the whole little EP there, so. That's fine. Yeah. You're just really feeling it. We should just move them around a little bit. I don't know if we can do that. Seems like we should be able to do that, but. Well, we should be able to listen to it on shuffle, right? I guess, yeah. It's not like we're gonna have some carefully curated track order. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sequencing when it's three plus people just throwing random shit out there. I suppose. We were promised a guitar stand, by the way, Ben. What's that? Oh, um, I saw it in my living room. Sorry. I promised a guitar stand. Well, I know I have credibility with you two. It was just, Doug said there might be musicians, and I felt like I would need the guitar stand just like kind of <laughs> ambiently here to like give me some credibility. Yeah. I have. I even brought the electric into the room. Like, so. like I too have touched a musical instrument. <laughs> Yeah, I um I sent it to a few people, um, non shared employer people. <laughs> um and um I just wasn't sure. I didn't like promo at heart because I had no idea how many people were gonna show up or how like technically like were we gonna have bandwidth issues? Was everybody gonna talk over each other? Like We so. would never, we're all seasoned professionals. Yeah, but if we had like 47 people on the line, it might be difficult. This is true. We'll cross yeah. that bridge when we come to well, it. Well, right. I mean, I just, I just didn't want, because so Man, I, I, that'd be pretty cool. I invited, I think the list that I invited to, so, I mean, our internal list has like 25 people on it. And then I sent it to like another 20 ish people. Um, so I was like, well, we could have 40 people. Didn't anticipate that, but we could. What? Oh. So the so stash music has twenty four people, and then I sent it to like another twenty, like non employer people, like about twenty. So I just wasn't sure. I think the consensus is that unless you're in the UK, this is too dang early on a Saturday. But yeah, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till like too when people are bored out of their mind the thing is is that that's like you know i mean i guess as it warms up and more daylight but that's like usually like a good time to be cycling is it too so i didn't want to jump right there but i got um I I got 52 kilometers in two and a half hours this morning 53 i guess 52.9 kilometers and Two hours and thirty-two minutes. Um, What's that in miles? No idea. 
but easy cal to calculate. It's Saturday. I don't want to calculate. Don't make me. Well, that's oh, no, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not don't make me going work. I'm going to type in 52.9 a.m. in miles. In like five I was going to say. 5.2. That's like probably three and a half miles. No, 52.9. Oh, I don't know, so yeah, like 30 and a half miles. Yeah, it's 30, 32.9 miles. So. There you go. Yeah. Ew, on a sat. Ew, no. I was no. supposed to go 60, but I didn't look no. at it because I just no, no. It. It's a Saturday. No, you don't do the working on the sat. No, that's that's the best. Like you can't put in that. You can't spend two and a half hours on a bike in the during the week. Ew, <laughs> like, no. Unless you never sleep. <laughs> big no, big ew, big no. Ugh. How do you do it? No. Oh. So I'll go four times that on May second, which is a Saturday. Why? Um, well, there's a group ride. Group run might be canceled, but um, I still I probably will still go that distance because I've never gone that far on a single in a single day. That's a hundred and twenty ish miles. I've done a hundred, but why? <laughs> why? You get this dog's idea of fun. You get to see like stuff that you don't get to see in a car, and also you, you have, have to pay attention to forward. How are you paying attention to the side when you're paying attention to forward, not falling off? Well, I mean, you don't have to think too much about falling off if like you're actually like, I mean, just like. Inertia will keep you going. You don't fall off of fast bikes. You fall off of slow bikes. That's true. Yeah. That's one of the keys that, like, if you clip in, that's one of the, like, the learning things. Like, if you're struggling to get your cleat out, you just pedal. <laughs> Otherwise, you fall. <laughs> but. You can tell I can't ride a bike, can't you? <laughs> right there, I'm just like, what? <laughs> no. Not got a clay. Just sit here, dude. Come on. Let's can see Odie here. Maybe. What what is this one called? This is Odie. Hmm? This is the same guy as before. I don't know where Gosh. Garfield is. I might as well go and get Garfield. Yes, please. You guys can see him. I'm gonna get another drink, Bub. <laughs> Do you know where Garfield is? His presence has been requested. Hey, buddy. Oh. This guy is Garfield. Oh, oh yeah, I see that with the color. Yeah. He, um, he's like the nicest cat in the world, but he is he's not really a lap cat. He'll lay beside of you, but he's kind of too big to be a lap cat. I mean, like, he could be a lap cat for, like, Shaq. He's a big dude, <laughs> You gotta have a large lap. Yeah. All right. Do you want to go? There you go. Uh, yeah. Garfield likes to. He'll walk on a leash. Um, we used to take him outside. Um, and wait, what? You, you, you can't just breeze past that like he wasn't even a thing. Do you say you walk your cat on a leash? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, um, he doesn't. So when we lived on second, we um, we would go out fairly often, um, and we would go to the river and stuff. But um, he doesn't like like cars. You know, they're like. Um, Is walking your cat like a normal thing that I just wasn't aware of? Uh, that feels. That, that feels odd. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, like not in a, not in a judgy way. I'm just like this. This is a whole new world to me. Yeah. I'm uh, aware of. So it really just depends on the temperament of the cat. Um, it's not. Fair. I mean, it depends on your definition of rare. I would say that it is uncommon, but not rare. That would be my assessment. It's not like we stumbled upon like, you know, a black diamond. I mean, <laughs> okay. you know. um, but there, there are like cats that they'll go like, um, they'll go like camping with people and like, they're just like, they're like dogs in that respect. Garfield's not quite there. He, he gets, he doesn't like, noises and yeah i mean maybe if we lived out you know in some rural place he would be um he'd be more like that but now that we're on fourth the the 94 ramp is like we live on the on the third side of our that has no idea what the hell you're talking about well, I do yeah. generally but yeah so, so i mean dog based on the what his condo or apartment looks like must live in the north loop somewhere yeah yeah i do um before they built sable i could see the free house um oh what building do you live in uh 730 oh shit you my sister-in-law used to live in whatever that building is that's right next to sable the older one she had an amazing view of the skyline, and then they built a huge condo right in front of it. Yeah, so the the one that says "Cool People, Cool Homes" on it. Uh, yeah, they built that like right in front of her patio. No, okay, so that one is. So that one, right, the one that just says Matt "Cool People, Cool Home" is the one right beside Sable. Um, but so there's the there's the dog park, and then there's this building. I don't know what it's called, and then there's Sable. Which is what I'm looking at right now. The riveting stuff, Beth, I know. No, I oh, just say have a, the, a Herschel Herschel loft. the Herschel Lops are what she lived in. Yeah, I don't know what they're all named. I'll turn this around though, so I can't actually see what I guess I could have moved the screen. Oh yeah, so it's literally not the big black building. Yeah, the, the big right. black it's, building it's, is stable. It's the one in the middle of your screen right now. With the little grassy area in front of it, she yeah. That so, building. so down there in the where I'm pointing, if you can see my finger, it says "Cool People, Cool Homes." That's why yeah. I'm saying. That. Oh so yeah, that's okay. The that's that's the one. Yeah. This is all probably I don't know, like half a mile from the office, less than that. Uh, it is. It's more than that, actually. Well, it's more than that unless you're like a bird. And, you know, Superman, um, because of the ramp. So you have to go around. So it's, it's 0. 0.6 kilometers, or it's more than 0. 0.6 kilometers. It's in between 0. 0.6 and 0. 0.7 kilometers, basically. Oh yeah, kilometers, sorry. Um, that, that must be where your little bike speedometer thing shows you. Yeah, so I guess, I guess actually, yeah, then it is, it is less than half a mile. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that is what I said. So, um, yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah. So there's the ramp on the other side of this building and like the cars are super loud and Garfield is like not into it. And it, part of it is the loudness, but part of it too is like, he can't figure out where it's coming from. You can tell like he's like goes out on the, like right at the door and he's trying to figure out what the hell the noise is and like figure out if it's safe. Like, where is it coming from? Because I bet if he could figure out that it was up there, he'd be like, well, it's way up there. Not my problem. Um, Do you have a cat, Beth? My cat died. Oh, shit. Oh. That got heavy. <laughs> it's been uh, like a month or two. No. <laughs> no. So she passed away just after my birthday last year. Mm -hmm. um, literally two days after my birthday. Um, I had her since I was eight. So she was nearly 20. Oh, Whoa. Big sad. I did the big sad. Um, but I'm going to go buy a kitten or two once this is done because I can finally go on cat adoption websites without crying. So, can, you get, can you get one now? Because now would be a good time to get one. No, I'm not allowed to. My dad said I'm not allowed to. <laughs> what if we die of coronavirus? I mean, I'm not going to, but okay, Dad. Sure. I mean... 
what if you got hit by a bus? I mean, exactly. That's exactly. No, my dad's, <laughs> I'm an only child, so my dad is super protective. Like, I went to look at a house to buy in my hometown. He was like, can't buy that, Beth. I was like, why? Why can't I buy the house? He's like, haunted. <laughs> What did you just say to me? Yeah, it's haunted, Beth. Can't buy it. Okay. I'm going to buy the house. No, you can't, Beth. Haunted. So I'm not allowed to buy the house because it's haunted. <laughs> My dad's I mean, <laughs> did you suggest this was a business opportunity? Like, is it zoned for um, haunted houses? You can charge admission. This is the thing. It's not fucking haunted. It's I mean... Well, it's not because that's not a thing that exists. Right. Exactly. But... No, it's not haunted, Dad. I like how we're debating it. Like, that's even an option that that can be a thing. Okay, but it doesn't matter if it's really haunted or not. If people think it's haunted, it's a business opportunity. Well, this is the thing. Apparently, it's a big thing in my hometown that I just never fucking knew about. Like, can you, like, do you get a haunted discount? No, but I just have to sage the shit out of the place. I don't think that's a thing either. I mean, sage is a thing. It's real. It exists, but I don't... It's what you're going to do when there's, like, demons. You sage it. All about. Mm-hmm. Um, just so you guys know, I, I don't know if you saw the um, the pop-up, but I got a little pop-up that was like, your 40-minute thing has been weighed for this meeting. So, Oh, I'm too uh, busy spamming our Spotify playlist. <laughs> Are you actually... Oh, dear. You... Oh, my God, you are. <laughs> You went. You you went there. Things. You, you there's. I have all the time in the world now. <laughs> I'm just trying to roll myself some cigarettes. I was not even paying attention to that. Being the only smoker. Nice. I killed conversation. That was good. I no, I was thinking about coffee and cigarettes, and I got my coffee. I think the key to a successful Does video it, chat is to just like forget that you're on the video chat. <laughs> just, like I'm not even looking at the camera. Wait, Doug, you can't smoke. You're super healthy. You don't smoke. No, 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 no. But I, the, I mean, so I need to find. I need to. I need to find this song. Um, uh, now that I'm. Now that we're. Okay, but I can't fucking add it from the. From the uh, web, I gotta find the, I need to just close the damn Spotify on the web, I mean on the browser, so I don't use it. Because otherwise it's just gonna annoy me. Okay. That is not, there's, mm, maybe I'll just add all of these. I'm just gonna add them all. Put it in your bucket bucket, do it all. What? Are you going big or going home? Anyway, so, how does going big or going home work when you're always home? Go big or go to a different room. You just, you're just not, you just don't go big. I mean, it's a, it's Boolean, so you can't do both. <sighs> this is true. No. Go big or go to a different room. No, no big things happen at home. This uh, is logic. I am way too chaotic for no big things to happen at home. Like, way too chaotic, so. Oh, here's a whole album named Coffee and Secrets, adding that. Oh, man. <laughs> There's all these playlists named Coffee and Cigarettes. I'm going to not follow. I'm not. I'm going to not add those. This is random stuff now. <laughs> I mean, Coffee and Cigarettes. It's uh, a point in time. You know, if it's... It, I mean, I, you know, everybody's opinion will vary, I suppose. But if they're really crap, we can just take them off the playlist. So I think the thing that is really interesting is I feel like I listen to a lot of music that's kind of catchy. And then other people listen to it and they're like, what is this shit? And I'm like, oh, man, my perception of like what is, you know, catchy and white is not, I don't know. Is, I'm very inside my head when it comes to music. Diamonds in the rough. Oh, I did. I did mention black diamonds. I was about to delete this Avenged Sevenfold, but I'm gonna allow it. You do not. Touch I vote. I vote that we don't oh. add albums of random stuff we've never heard. You do not touch my Avenged Sevenfold, sir. I I, I will throw these hands. Don't Are those the ones that sound like a second-rate Metallica? 
but I mean, like, there. Did so we had that? the we the had, fact that you don't immediately say no tells me all I need to know. I d d or are you speechless? Just, I just, did I did I wound you deeply there? I mean, Doug, look away. You're innocent. <laughs> So what? It, so what is diamonds in the rough? I mean, who's that? Let's have a look. No, no, no. So it was something. So it's just they're live. Is that was that one of their tours? We're still talking about Avenged Sevenfold. Okay. Um, let me just two seconds. Are we are we into the Avenged Sevenfold deep cuts now? Is that where we're at? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. Oh wow! I'm kind of. I mean, I wouldn't I know because I don't listen to that. But, but that's their new album. I guess I'm about to. It's their new album. And girl, I know is a bot. Wait, it's not. It's not their new album, or we can. It is their new album. It's I feel their like the unofficial. Album. I feel like the unofficial rule of the playlist is that you can't skip stuff. Like if it comes up, you just gotta. You just gotta it's, bear down. Go so through it. What the? F why does Wikipedia not know that this is an album, Beth? It's. The, I don't know. I'm not in charge of Wikipedia. I'm British. I don't fucking know. They did have a live in the LBC and Diamonds in the Rough that was released. Diamonds in, in the Rough is the new 2020. Hello. Hello. No, we can hear you. Oh, okay. My internet <laughs> Thanks, is then. unstable. Um, so I'm gonna drop this in the chat. Girl I know is a oh, Avenged Sevenfold are great. They're That's so all I, all I can find about. Oh, the, so so this was a it's a reissue. Yeah, it's the 2020 album. The, well, it's not, sir. It's a reissue. <laughs> it's the 2020. <laughs> all right. It's that. Oh no, I lost my wrists. So it was originally released in 2008. They didn't do well, that's why they've released it again. And it's doing much more better now. Well, anyway, so Ben, you might remember that uh, we discussed that like hardcore bands, like or bands that used to be hardcore, they were always better when they were hardcore bands. Except for Neurosis. Okay. Um, but otherwise, I think that's true. Yeah, so Avenged Sevenfold, definitely falls into that category they were always kind of a weird hardcore band but regardless um, uh, all right i will uh you know i'll i'll give it a shot well yeah so maybe it's a good song i don't know that that song it's so oh, the, the problem with i've heard it's a pop doug yeah it's a pop. i don't know where i heard that but i've heard it <laughs> heard it's a bop part of the problem with avenge sevenfold is that the lead singer like severed his vocal cords and like he just had to sing like a Metallica cover band and he couldn't do the, you the MC <laughs> shadows alone. That man is an angel on this earth. Don't you dare. What was that name? You, MC, MC shadows. MC shadows. shadows? He doesn't uh, rap despite being an MC, but um, he is an angel on this earth and I will hope that you both leave him alone. Because He's not only beautiful, he's sing. Yeah. Matthew. I guess Charles I hadn't considered the beautiful angle. He's stunning. Big, big beautiful. Oh, he's also in Steel Panther. Yeah. Steel oh, Panther. shit, really? Yeah. Steel Panther are great. Big great. <laughs> or was, or somehow associated with Steel Panther. Oh, man, my, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is your world being turned upside down by that information? I just, aren't Steel Panther like the 80s butt rock, like tribute band, am I? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm super trying to keep an open mind right now, but like the, the doors are closing. I mean, just listen to their first two albums and stop. <laughs> I mean, 
noted. Maybe uh, it gets bad. It gets real bad. <laughs> maybe there there's some okay stuff on City of Evil, but just don't watch the music videos from City of Evil because yeah, they're pretty. Oh, cool. pretty cringy. That's fair. Everything oh my god! This is this playlist is going to turn into Ben Spam's random stuff to his coworkers. <laughs> to uh I don't oh, know. did one of us did one of us just break quarantine for a smoke break? I'm allowed to smoke. I'm in I my mean, And it's like we um you know there's a whole list of exceptions. And like and, you know I rode as we discussed fifty three kilometers this morning. Well, they said you could exercise. Right, that's exercise. What, but that's what I'm saying. Exercise. Yeah. So, I don't know that smoke breaks are on our list, but um, you know, I'm sure that the cops probably have better things to do than. I think it's a thousand dollar fine, though. I don't like the. That to me tips it into like I don't really want to mess with it. Yeah. No, that's I I agree. Um, Very few things I do outside the house are worth a thousand dollars to me. Although, get back to me in two weeks and ask me if I feel the same <laughs> way. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's like you can get go to stores if they're open. And buckets. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to Britain. That's that's my view. That's outside my house. That's mm. lovely. It's very British, quintessentially British. It is, they got those red bricks everywhere. We love a red brick. Do we, we, have, have a brick? we have some red brick here. Oh, you saw some actually earlier. It's been quite lovely. All my neighbours have started saying hello because everyone's very lonely in isolation. So it's walk past. They're like, hi. Lots of red brick. I mean, I think I'm winning on the red brick. What? I think I'm winning on the red brick. I mean, sure. What is that? What is that tattoo? Oh, that's. Doug's Swedish, I think. Yeah. He's super sweet. My, uh, what is happening? Is that the only one you have? Like, I, the minute I see tattoos, and I'm apparently like, a monarchist too, Doug. You and I need to talk politics. So, somebody. so actually, it's upside down. Um, oh shit! All right, <laughs> fucking anarchy then. Yeah. Um, so I did. I did think about that before I got it. Um, but um, but no, I mean, I think that. People don't, I mean, they do, but like, it's not really seen as like a symbol of the monarchy. I mean, like the hockey team has it like very prominently on their jerseys. The soccer team has it on their crest. Like, it's, I don't know. Is the Swedish monarch considered to have a divine mandate? Because like that seems so, aggressive for a country like Sweden. The, um, but so originally it wasn't even like a Swedish thing. It was the Scandinavian kingdoms. So Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. That's why there's three. Um, apparently there's a Trey Kroner um, restaurant in Chicago Chicago's Nordic Bistro I do quite like the idea of Nordic food but um, being a vegan um, you know Nordic food is not <laughs> not really you got like Moss well, I think the I fact that there's not a Nordic food restaurant on every corner, like there is a Mexican restaurant, probably tells me everything I need to know about Nordic food. And I say that as somebody that's like a quarter Norwegian. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, there's good stuff. Depends on what you like. Um, we went to Ufta when um, Travail was uh, doing their Swedish thing. I don't know if you know anything about like the food scene here, Ben. But, mm, I don't live in Minneapolis proper, but I do occasionally I, eat there. Well, Travail is generally in Robbinsdale, but they were remodeling. And so they did like a, I'm going to do air quotes here. I guess there's video. So 
people, if you're watching, you're seeing the air quotes. Um, the, um, but uh, they did a pop-up in, um, in Uptown. I don't know if it's literally Uptown because people like to argue about what's Uptown and what's not Uptown, but um, it's in that little wedgy Uptownish sort of area. Oh, right, by Bir- R- right where Birch Steak, by Birch Steakhouse actually, if you know where that's um but uh so what they did is they cycled through um they did a a mexican one they did a um a spanish one and then and they did i think they did one that we didn't do before the mexican one and then they did a swedish one well it was it was like not swedish i think the chef that they brought in the guest chef was swedish but like uh, like the muppets no like uh no. she's actually from i don't know if i think she's actually like born and raised in mini in minnesota but her family is like swedish so like her family had like swedish family recipes and stuff mm-hmm. but anyway so it was like it was like a scandinavian slash minnesota theme so it wasn't just scandinavian it was like they had like a hot dish and like oh yeah i heard about that i heard about that sort of stuff. but um travail is by no means the cheapest place in the world, but it is really good. Um, and, uh, they were supposed to open up their new place on St. Patrick's day. Um, and, uh, I know that they're doing, uh, like pickup orders now, but I don't think they have, a. Uh, so um, I'm just noticing, I'm wondering if it's because I have a license, but we're at 53 minutes. Oh yeah. It, no, I, I mentioned this. They, I got a notice that said the, the, um, the limit has been, um waved so it like popped up so i don't know if because it's saturday they're like fuck it we don't care i don't know yeah i don't i don't know what did you uh, just say yolo oh i did (laughs) okay how very hip and cool of you (laughs) yeah like fucking eight years ago my cousin has a yolo tattoo let's just let's just say that's that'll age well (laughs) <laughs> he has an age well let's just put that out. I don't know if you guys can hear the the scraping I hear something that sounds like a single maraca being played very slowly ah yes that's Garfield he's quite OCD about his litter box oh so I'm winning the playlist by the way like I'm the, I'm mean... the winner <laughs> give me If you think I'm not about to add some absolute British bangers into this, I'm just saying. I wonder how many items you can have in a spot of high playlist, because I feel like that might. I mean, we're only at 44 now. Let's see. You can have way more, trust me. I'm about to add some absolute terrible rubbish. I hope you're all very excited. I'm very upset you all don't have uh, dairy milk fingers where you are. It's very upset. Okay, what is that? Yeah. I saw that. Oh God, and I'm... Right. It's, it's got to be candy, right? Like, it's some kind of... Fucking dairy milk fingers, man. So, what's in the middle of them? They're biscuit and chocolate. They are... They are whole mm. Clearly, okay. I need to do another Brit food package. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was appreciated. Well, Doug got his nans. So. Yeah. Thank you. Your little vegan... Do you not struggle without eating cheese? I couldn't do that. I think eggs would be the one that would get me. Hold on. It's all about the cheese. Can't live without cheese. Maybe I should slow down on the drinking. That's what I think. Why? It's what? 3 there? 3.30? 3.26. No, because I know I'm going to end up getting (laughs) habits. and then I'll end up tattooing myself and I'll probably have like an SOC dash music tattoo somewhere. So I don't know if you 
if you have this stuff in the uh, UK, Beth, but it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, you told me about that stuff. I'm going to stick with my normal cheese because I'm not a vegan. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, you know, if you're saying you can't live without cheese, then... But it's not proper cheese, and I'd be very sad without proper cheese. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> no, I'm fully aware. I've tried the vegan diet, and it just did not go well for Beth. Rizzle kicks. Rizzle kicks are that. great. Oh, Rizzle Cricks are great. Well, so I had the advantage of being a vegetarian for like a decade before I went vegan. So, um, you know. But why? Why be vegan or why be no, vegetarian? Why be vegetarian? Um, for a lot of reasons, but um, I think the most like sort of the like uh, – reason for me that sort of got me started was back uh, when Hurricane Fran came through North Carolina, all the like hog waste that um, in Eastern North Carolina, actually I think it was Floyd, I think it was Florence, all that, all the F hurricanes seemed to get in North Carolina. I'm not with the, sure what that has to do with anything. Yeah, it must've been Floyd. Fran was in 96. Um, but uh yeah, it's just like super flooding. I mean, a lot of that is just like industrial farm problems and not really like, you know, farming itself problems, but um, it's just really disgusting. And um, it's just like, like simple math it, that it's not good for the environment. Like, you, can, you know, thermodynamics, you can't put into the system like what you get out. You know, eating vegetarian is just, it's, a better use of resources. Fair enough. That's just interesting. I always like to question things. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's interesting because, um, you know, a lot of people think, well, um, you know, like you fly like bananas from like South American stuff and like surely that, you know, you know, is not as good, but they've actually done research on this. And um, even despite like stuff traveling, like it's just like, uses way less energy than um than uh, meat products do and cheese is actually super bad um like surprisingly bad so like um fish is actually like really not that bad for the environment um as long as it's i think if it's wild fish then that's fine um basically like it's almost not it's like slightly worse than like vegetables and nuts and stuff but it's like really not that bad. Eggs are actually also not that bad, I seem to recall. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It's just hard to like pick and choose. It's easier to say, this is my thing. Cut and dry. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. I like simple things. So, um, yeah. Let me find. You realize when I finally, finally make it out to you, we're definitely going drinking. That's a happening. Do you drink, Doug? No. He does now. I can't, I can't actually. Um, yeah, he's got some. some yeah. Stuff. I can have I can have like kombucha. I mean, a little bit of alcohol is not going to kill me, but um, anything over like five is not going to be good. Okay, so we stick to four. <laughs> I can. I, yeah, I could probably do that. All the all the shitty beers are like four percent, though, right? I mean. I mean, just because you are is out there. No. I tried a Miller's Light when I was out in Boston, and I'm sorry, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, agreed. <laughs> that was terrible rubbish. Terrible rubbish. That was the worst beer I think I've ever had in my life. Mm, they're worse. That was, that was bad. It was bad. I was not a happy Brit. I was not happy. This is why I spend all my time in Boston in microbreweries. Because I'm in Boston way too much. Are you in Boston a lot? Yeah, I go to Boston once a year. Huh. I have family there, so I go and visit them. Always ends up very dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> I spend like 10 days out there and I come back uh, just a mess. 
It's an absolute mess, especially when they keep taking me to like little comic book stores and I'm like, oh, oh dear, I spend way too much money every time I'm in Boston. Every time. Because they keep taking me to Hot Topic and that's very dangerous. <laughs> Big danger. Big danger for the little old kid. Last time I was out there, I ended up drunk in a, in a speakeasy type thing. And then ended up getting a tattoo. It was very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Big bad, big bad choices. Ooh. So, do you mind asking? Blah, mind me asking why you can't drink? Is that oh it? my! It's my throat. Um, I actually, I need to get it. Sco- I was gonna get it scoped on the thirty first, um, but um, I canceled that because of the whole. COVID-19 stuff. Oh, is there something uh, happening with that? Yeah. Which, what do you mean? Um, with COVID-19, is that a thing now? I don't know. What do you All mean? right, I'll shut up. <laughs> Are you just <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm just being sarcastic. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if that... I mean, I think that like clinics are open. I think I could have like done it, but it's like, where are the people with the COVID going to go? They're going to go to the doctor. So maybe I'll just not go to the doctor. Right. This feels like the thought, worst possible time to have any other medical issues. Yeah, yeah. So I thought you weren't meant to go to the doctors if you had the virus. That you so well, Especially in the UK, you're not meant to go to the doctors if you have a virus. You're just meant to stay the fuck at home. Well, I think they want you to stay at home until you have symptoms that make you feel yeah. like you're gonna die. And then you yeah. then you go. Yeah, because oh, we're told rest- we're, <laughs> we're just not allowed to go to the doctors. Well, you need respirators if it's bad, so you kind of have to go to the hospital. <laughs> hospital and doctors are different things. Just well, I mean, that's fair, but... I would dread to think how much this would cost you. What is at my door? Why is there... Oh, it's Just make sure you point, okay. point your um, camera at the door so we can watch you get murdered. Uh, my camera's attached to my computer. I'll stay on. We but... can watch you get murdered. <laughs> Doug, you're fucking savage. You're fucking savage. <laughs> this is, a, this is America preparing to be murdered. It's just like a normal Saturday morning. <laughs> See, in British, in, in British, oh my god, I'm so Doug, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a fair bit to drink. We're day drinking, it's Christmas rules. Um, but we don't have that in the UK. In the UK, it's like someone's dropping off an Amazon package. That's about it. There's yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's what it is. But I mean, it it looked like he has like a he might have like a a, a camera at his front door, so he probably saw the person. I do. I do have a camera. I have a ring. Oh my god! Stop talking. It's weird. We what? It's weird. They... I got a wireless headset. Yeah, I hey. know, but it's weird. Hey. It's big weird. Quid. That's my energy, honestly. Yeah, big weird. <laughs> big weird. Where's my oh. manatee? I'm just a manatee over here. Like a weird potato with the tongue out all the time. <laughs> Especially if you what if you follow my week you both well, you don't follow my Instagram because you don't have it, but you do. You know that's like the ninety percent of the poses that I do. It's fine. I am you need to get more social media is what you need to do. I do not need to. Oh, fuck. No. Nobody needs that <laughs> yes, right now. Yes, you do. More social media. Um, Go on Insta and take pictures of nothing but my house because I can't go outside. That's cool. So, selfies are fun. Big old selfie moment. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. Just, just occurs to me that um, perhaps we should... Uh, I don't know if we if anybody made decisions about like if they're going to wear like a band t-shirt or anything. <laughs> oh, the, I am. Yeah. So I was going to ask. What, but that's uh, like most of, that's most of my shirts though. Yeah. So do you want to tell us about your shirt then? Uh, I bought or my about shirt. about the band? A, <laughs> yeah. I bought this shirt at a concert and the concert, have you ever been to a concert where the band was good, but the sound was so bad that you considered leaving because that was, I got kicked yeah. out of a show once, but I've never, I don't know that I've been in that situation. Like the, the, um, no, wait, wait. the quality of the sound about, was awful. It was at the I fine line and they had Doug. like a PA for an amphitheater and it was too much. 
Like it was literally just a wall of constant noise and not in a cool, interesting way, just in like a, this doesn't sound right. Mm. It was Torch, which is an amazing band who are really, really cool. And seeing them in concert was kind of a letdown, but I bought the shirt because I know that's how they make their money. I try and buy merch at every show I go to because most of the bands I see, touring is like a big financial stretch for them. So I know they take 100% of the cut on that. But yeah, listen to Torch. They're good. Sweet. Most of them, um, well, no. So it depends on who does the printing. But um, we um, we let our, everybody on our, well, also depends on the the type of contract they're under but largely we allow our musicians if they have their own like to sell on their sites and then like it's like you know you're the guy you're the guys that are doing the work for selling it on your site so you you keep that it also makes i just it so have you ever noticed you can kind of the size of like the band that is going to be at the fine line based on what sort of vehicle is parked across the street from the office <laughs> like if it's a touring bus like they're probably doing all right but yeah. when i saw Winham, they were in a rental van with a u-haul trailer yeah and i'm like these people are basically living on top of each other so i should yeah, yeah, yeah. buy a t-shirt and throw some money their way that's fair um, and honestly a lot of times buying merch is a good way to like talk to people in the band for a minute if things are slow Oh, you know, yeah. When I went to see Health, I bought a shirt from the bass player and talked to him for like five minutes because there was nothing else going on. Yeah, sweet. So that was cool. So we lost Beth. No. No, hold on. Maybe she'll... Maybe her internet went out. Oh, she said her power just went out. Oh, shitty. Um, well... Do we want to wrap it up? Yeah, I was just going to, since I asked you about your shirt, and Beth, I know, wants to hear about the, you know, I'll just save the story about the con- getting kicked out of the concert for... Yeah, we got all, literally, we have all the time in the world. Yeah, so... Um, the next was, weeks of our life are going to be, like, insane, just complete stir craziness. Yeah, well, hopefully it's not. I mean, I you know, you have a bike, so you could go for a ride. I know, I do. Yeah. So but that's the problem is the number of places. Oh, she says she's coming back. The number of places that like I could ride within vicinity of my house is pretty yeah. limited, and most of them are closed anyway now. Well, yeah. I mean, but you could just you could just. I mean, like I didn't go anywhere this morning on my ride. I mean, I did literally go somewhere, but I didn't. Wow. Well, right. I mean, fair. Um, so, I mean, it's an option, um, you know, and then walking and such option as well. <laughs> um, but um, I don't, so uh, the, uh, I will talk about my shirt because I might not be. Your Trek shirt? Yeah. So, I, well, I was just, I mean, you know, talking about shirts. So, uh, okay. I don't. So, but I don't have any uh, band t-shirts anymore. I used to, but, um, you know, it's just, um, I only have so many t-shirts I can wear. (laughs) I pretty much flipped over to t-shirts most of the time because, like, I don't, nobody in the office seems to care and I don't feel like wearing a button-up shirt every day. Yeah. um, I have a bunch of, like, tech t-shirts. So, um, a lot, you know, like, free you know, like I took, I w- was on Chef Rally. I took a bunch of courses there and I got a, they sent me a, a chef t-shirt and um, <laughs> I have a DevOps, Minneapolis DevOps Days 2016 shirt. I believe I've actually seen that shirt. Yeah, I have. I, and so this is another one of my free shirts that last year I rode 500 miles in July. It's uh, the Trek Challenge. And Oh yeah. Wasn't that on, you? I remember you talking about that on that app. Yeah, so they do, a, they do a thing where you can do one, five, or ten. So I did Century Challenge, so I got five. Um, and then, um, but this year I'm going to try to do the ten. So I will be, like, on my bike all the time in July. 
you so. think. Well, unless you, I, come down, unless you come down with the COVID. Yeah, if, I, which, if I'm not, if I'm healthy, then, you know, um, and like they don't put us on like super lockdown. Um, then, um, yeah, that's the plan. Although actually, um, the, uh, the way they did it last year, they allow for virtual rides. And so we're getting a, a Peloton. And so um, I can just ride that. Um, we just ordered it like because of the stay at home thing. But the thing is, is it's going to be, we're not going to get it until the stay at home thing is over. Like get it. Well, oh, really? But first, I the suppose first. everybody's ordering a Peloton right now. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, so it's, it's over April 10th, the first round anyway. Right. So we get it April 11th. So I mean, gonna be, we're going to be, you're going to be in your house for way longer than that. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they'll do like a week of like, you know, um, they're, they're going to have to keep doing it, you know, like in waves, but I don't know what the, you know, what the strategy. Well, the thing is not only that, but like, they're not like, there's not going to be a break from it. Like they can't be like, oh, you know, you did this for three weeks. Here's a couple of days to go do whatever. It's going to be like, oh, you did this for three weeks. Here's another three weeks because it's still not under control. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on how under control it is because um, in theory, you should be able to, I mean, if, if the situation is that you, you want to not have, you know, the ICU beds to be full, then you can do the distance, you know, the like stay at home thing for like a month or whatever. And then you can like not do it. And then a few more people get sick and then you can go back to doing it again, you know? Well, like, to keep doing everything state by state, I guess we'll see which approach works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, the, uh, the thing that has obviously worked is testing, but we've missed the boat on that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yep. So you're right. Um, I mean, not to say that more testing wouldn't help, but uh, um, well, I think it would. But I yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. how realistic that is at this point. Right, but we're not we're not going to be Germany or South Korea. Like we're that ship is that ship is uh, middle nope. of the Pacific. <laughs> it nope. is way gone. <laughs> um, but uh, so we were just saying, bet that we might um wrap it up, and I can share my story next time. But um, we did you have a um. Did you have, I don't know, did you, did you wear a tire for being on camera? That's really the question. No. Okay. <laughs> Big no. <laughs> I think looking at all three of us, the answer to that is no. I mean, no, I picked my shirt. I was like, you know, I don't want to. I'm wear. literally this, in this, I, opened, I opened the drawer and this was the shirt at the top of my drawer. So. I, I'm in dungarees and I'm not wearing a shirt. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm literally wearing like a crop top at best. It's it's because it's warm in my house, so fair enough. At least I got dressed. Yeah, <laughs> I put I makeup did, on for this. I did. Uh, I, I did mean to say that that should be one of our rules: is that you should wear clothes. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, pajamas are clothes. Yeah. No. 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 Like. I don't know if it's an HR violation if it happens outside work hours, but. <laughs> I'd really rather not. That's right. Out. Mel's got my back. I'm a. I know. I'm a walking HR issue. I'm fully aware of walking HR. Yeah, that's a conversation I don't want to have with Brian Holston. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and should we get, you know, uh, people people that are not coworkers? Yeah, then that should alleviate some of that. But I still think, just for the purposes of like sharing it on the internet and not having to put it on Pornhub, then um. Whoa, fuck, people that escalated should... quickly. I mean, people, that, is, I was people, say, that escalated very quickly, Doug. People should wear clothing. That's all I'm saying. I'm dressed. Yeah, no, I'm not saying you're not. I'm just... I am dressed. I'm just, for future reference, if you would like to join the call, you should be wearing clothing. So. If you dress. Yeah. Like an adult and everything. All right. Um... Do we want to pick a time for next Saturday? Uh, we've got all week to figure it out, but okay, works for me. I mean, whenever. 
preferably well i know it's, i say preferably but it's going to be my afternoon anyway because y'all are six hours behind me well i mean it could be like the middle of the night for you depending on what we pick i don't sleep doug okay learn this i don't do a sleep fair enough so yes whatever all right cool we'll talk about it in the uh in the slide channel yeah, yeah. we will I'm going to get the high score on the playlist. Yeah. No, you're not. No. I'm, that's just not, I mean, go for it, man. <laughs> not, a, not, not a game I'm playing. Um, All right, fine. It will be. <laughs> well, it's, it's a game I'm going to lose. It's not a game I'm going to play well. So. You, you say that now, but wait until the boredom really sets in. Yeah, maybe. Um, I do, you know, I do have a business to run when I'm, not at work so you know it's i know you're a very busy man very so, busy man who's cool. not going to get involved in putting things on the spotify playlist i put some stuff there i'm just not going to try to win it i'm not going to try to like out well, that's good for you because you can't because i'm winning yeah so i'm also i'm a realist and i i since i know i can't win why am i going to play play the game you know it doesn't seem like i mean i guess i guess you could play to have fun but it just doesn't seem like a fun game Totally. I don't think it's a game. There's no winning. We all win because there's music. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave. Bye. 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 All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here as well in this meeting, which should in the recording as well. And I'll post it in the room. Oh, and um, there's Odie back there.